good morning student myself melissa ankla and our subject design of crystal concrete structure uh, module number 4 that is shear and torsional design strength we saw the example okay now we read the given data uh, y beam as shown has the rib width is 200 mm and depth is 1000 mm its area is 310 by 10 to cube mm square and second moment of area is given 36 into 10 is to 9 mm 4 area of prestressing steel is 1803 mm square which has strength 1750 newton per mm square is stressed to 60 percentage of its strength in service at eccentricity of 290 mm concrete grade is 50 check the section for shear 400 kN and associate moment is 800 kN into meter note that tendon is inclined at 3 degree at the section consider okay this one is the y beam is given now first determine the following values pt force is equal to area of prestressing steel into fs prestressing steel area is given 1803 and fs after 60 percentage uh, is given in data look at this stress is 60 percentage of its strength in service at eccentricity of 290 mm okay so 60 percentage 0.6 into 1750 and pt we get 1893 kN now we find out fcp fcp is equal to ps by a okay and ps is equal to 1893 divided by area uh, of section that is 310 tend to cube and we get 6.1 newton per mm square then ft is equal to 0.24 under root of fcu okay or we can say fck that is 50 and 1.7 newton per mm square next for shear capacity of uncracked section vco or we can write vc also that is 0.67 bh under root of ft square plus 0.8 ft into fcp plus vp 0.67 b is equal to 200 and height of section is 1000 and under root of ft we find out 1.7 0.8 1.7 and fcp is equal to 6.1 and vp is our vertical component of tendon that is given on 3 degree so 1893 prestressing force p and sin 3 degree okay and answer is equal to 547.3 kN now next for cracked shear capacity we uh, put following equation fpc divided by fpu 0.6 is given in data because 60% strength we take here FCE is equal to PS divided by AG plus PS e square divided by IG. Now 1893 that is our PS and gross area 310 into 10 is to cube. PS is equal to 1893 into 10 is to cube and E is given in data 290 square divided by IG moment of inertia that is 36 into 10 is to 9. and answer is equal to 10.52 newton per mm square and mo is equal to 0.8 fce i by e 0.8 fce 10.52 and i n divided by e mo is equal to 1046 kN into meter simply we have to follow the equation that we already learn uh, we discuss in our theory portion Now VC is equal to 0.79 divided by 1.25, 100 AS BVD raised to 0.33, 400 by D 0.25, FCU divided by 0.33, and answer is 0.78 newton per mm square. Now we find out VCR. VCR is equal to 1 minus 0.55 FPS divided by FPU, VC into BV into D. M O divided by M into V, and this value will be greater or equal to relation of 0.1 B V D under root of F C U. Okay. Now after putting the all value in this equation, we have to get 605.4 greater than or equal to triple 1.7. We here we 
finish the check so we consider vcr is equal to 604.605.4 kN okay the section is uncracked since because our mo is less than m and design shear strength 547.3 kN which is greater than applied 400 kN so there is use non nominal leak there is no need to design shear reinforcement okay now we solve the second example read the data design the stirrups for type 1 pistress beam with following section location of tendon is given in figure uh, longitudinal reinforcement of 12 mm diameter is provided to hold the stirrups and uh, the properties of sections are given that is area is equal to 159000 mm square i is equal to 1.7808 10 to 10 mm to 4 and area of prestressing steel is equal to 960 mm square grid of concrete is m35 and characteristic strength of prestressing steel is fpk 1470 newton per mm square effective prestress fpe is equal to 860 newton per mm square and udl load is given 30.2 kN per meter span end is equal to 10.7 and width of bearing is given 400 mm clear cover of longitudinal reinforcement is 30 mm okay this one is the i section with his 435 and depth of flange 100 and depth of web is 290 okay now first Calculate VU at face of support neglecting the effect of compression in concrete. VU is equal to 1.5 W L by 2 minus X. 1.5 dead load is given 30.2 and span is 10.7 divided by 2 and X is the bearing. Total uh, depth uh, width is given 400 mm so half of is 0.2. And view we find to 233.3 kN. Okay, this one is the phase of support shear force. Now check view divided by BDT that is less than of tau C maximum or not. Effective depth is total depth minus cover minus diameter of stirrups minus one half of diameter of longitudinal bar. Okay, and uh, assume the diameter of stirrups 8 mm. Now DT is equal to total depth 90 minus 30 minus 8 and 1 half into 12. Here we get DT 876 mm. Now VU B W in, into DT that is equal to VU we find out 233.3 into 10 to 3 because convert into Newton BW width of web into 876 and answer is 2.7 Newton per mm square. Now next. Tau C maximum from M35 is 3.7 Newton per mm square. Okay, this one is uh, given in our IS1343 table, number 5.1. Okay, and from this we get uh, Tau C maximum that is 3.7 for M35 grade of concrete. Calculate VC from lower of VCO or VCR. Now, VCO is equal to 0.67 BD under root of FT square plus 0.8 FCP FT. What is FT? FT is equal to 0.24 under root of FCK. FCK is 35 given and answer of FT is equal to 1.42. FCP is equal to stress that is load divided by area and distressing force is given 826 into 10 to cube divided by total area of I guard. Okay and here we get answer of FCP 5.19 Newton per mm square. Now we find out VCO, okay, 0.67 B into D, then under root of FT, FT square plus 0.8 FCP into FT. After putting all the values, we get VCO that is 173.4 kN. Okay, next vertical component of prestressing force can be find out from the equation of parabolic tendons. Okay, and the equation of parabolic tendon, uh, tendons is Y. 4 yml square x l minus x okay and here we find out the angle theta and tan theta is equal to differentiation of dy by dx 4 yml square then l minus 2x okay now here x is equal to 4.2 meter 
एंड वाई इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी एम एम डी वाई बाई डी एक्स इज इक्वल टू पॉइंट वन जीरो फाइव थीटा इज इक्वल टू सिक्स डिग्री एंड द वर्टिकल कंपोनेंट ऑफ अवर प्रोसेसिंग स्टील इज पी ई साइन थीटा पी ई इज गिवन एट हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी सिक्स एंड साइन थीटा दैट इज साइन सिक्स डिग्री इज पॉइंट वन जीरो फोर एंड वी गेट वी पी एटी सिक्स नाउ वी सी ओ प्लस वी पी is equal to 173.4 and we find 86 total is 259 okay vcr is equal to 1 minus 0.55 fpe divided by fpk tau cbd plus mo into vu divided by mu okay that is mu is equal to m we can take m also now fpe divided by fpk that means stress 860 divided by 1470.58 And hundred into area of processing steel divided by BD, we get two. And depth is equal to four sixty plus Y, and this Y is equal to twenty mm. Okay. Now for M thirty five concrete grade, tau C is equal to point eighty six newton per mm square. M O is equal to point eight F P T I by Y. F P T is equal to Minus P E by A minus P E Y Y or into Y that is E. Put all the values. We get F P T is equal to minus five point twenty one newton per mm square. Okay, here begin here compressive take is negative one. Begin take positive also. Now M O is equal to point eight five point two one this stress one point seventy eight moment of inertia ten to two ten by twenty. And value of this MO we get three thousand seven hundred eleven point two kilonewton into meter. Then we find out ultimate moment at the critical section that is one point five W x by two L minus x. Okay, and x we take as a point two meter. So put x is equal to point two, and W is equal to our dead load that is given in data thirty point two kilonewton per meter. After putting all the values, we get forty-seven point six kilonewton into meter. Now we find out VCR. VCR is equal to one minus point fifty-five FPE divided by FPK TC into BD MO VU divided by MU. Okay, and VCR we get one lakh eighty-two. Sorry, eighty-two thousand two hundred thirty-two point nine kilonewton. Okay. And here we see first we get that is two fifty nine point four kilonewton, and our VU is less than VC. Okay, ultimate shear is less than our critical. So here VU less than VC. Calculate ASV divided by SV. ASV means our spacing area of stirrups, and SV is our spacing of stirrups. ASV divided by BW. Is uh, into S V is equal to point four divided by point eighty seven F I. We use this relation. Okay. Now maximum spacing point seventy five D T and four into B W. From this we have to select spacing four hundred mm. This all equation are given in our code one three four three. Okay. Calculate the size and number of legs of stirrups. Select F I two fifty four stirrups. Area is equal to B W S V point four eighty seven F I from this equation, and we have to get area of spacing that is seventy three point six mm square, and from that we here we find out spacing. Now provide two legged stirrups diameter of eight mm. Okay, and our two legged so two into fifty point three hundred point six mm square. This one is for eight mm diameter. Okay. Now check the minimum amount of stirrups. ASV minimum is the point one percentage of total area. Point one hundred and hundred into B into D. Okay, forty mm square. Provide amount of stirrup is larger. So here this check is okay. Now we design the stirrups for flange also. A one is equal to one half B F into D F. Dimension of flange BF is equal to 435 and DF is equal to 100. That is given in our figure. Area of flange is equal to 2 21,750 mm square. 
and y bar is equal to 410 mm now tau maximum vu a y bar divided by idf after putting all the values 1.17 newton per mm square we get and vf is equal to tau phi, uh, tau of maximum divided by 2 bf by 2 and df this one is for flange and we get 12724 newton shear force okay now we provide area of stirrups vf divided by 0.87 fi vf we find out they were uh, 12724 for flange divided by 0.87 and fi we selected for stirrup that is 250 and we find 59 mm square now for minimum steel asv is equal to df sv 0.4 divided by 0.87 fi 100 and spacing of our stirrups we find 400 mm 0.4 divided by 0.87 into 250 and we get minimum area that is 73.6 mm square provide two legged stirrups of diameter 8 mm for design section okay this is our eye girder and cable provided in two duct and 8 mm 8 mm diameter stirrups provided 400 mm spacing and this one is the two legged okay now we stop here in next session we solve the another example and start new topic